Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life. Uh, this is Lesson 7, Part 7 of Starting a Tune from Scratch. We're using Boil Them Cabbages as our tune, as our tool to work in. Uh, so far we've taught playing a, a C scale. We're in double C tuning. We have also taught um, the basic melody, which was is fairly very easy in this particular tune. Uh, we've talked about playing in different octaves. We've talked about the, we've used the uh, bum ditty, we used the bum T, which is a skipper hesitation. We used double thumbing, triple thumbing. We've talked about the chords. We've added hammer on slides, and pull offs. Last week, I showed you a C lick that you could throw in at the end of the tune. You can also, on certain tunes, put it in the middle of the tune, but we've talked about that. And today, uh, we're going to talk about noodling, which is a whole lot of fun. Now, if you don't know what noodling is, noodling is simply playing random notes or licks on your instrument. And a couple things about noodling that you need to know is you need to do it with confidence. And, and, and the way it works is if somebody's playing a tune and you don't know the melody and you're noodling many times, most times, 99% of the time, it's going to sound like you're playing the melody or a counter melody that goes right with it. So... Noodling is hitting those random notes, and I'm going to, I'll give you a few examples. I went to a jam uh, at the Cumberland Gap, and there's a group that goes down there, and I went down to play for the weekend, and I didn't know 80% of the songs. I just didn't know them. I'd never heard of them. Uh, they are more, I guess, of the Southern. I'm from Pennsylvania, so, you know, people play different things. So what I did is I noodled the entire time, and I actually got two compliments uh, about my playing, but... I didn't play one melody note of those tunes because I was simply noodling. So noodling is just hitting those random notes. Now, I'll give you another idea. I used to teach a string band club, and uh, I started the I, several instruments, but I started, we'll say, the mountain dulcimers, and I said, I want you to play eight random notes, and this was individually, eight random notes over and over again. And this was just... So there were like five, six mountain dulcimers. They were all playing something different. Whatever they thought up in their head, eight random notes. Then I had the, um, we had a couple banjo. I had the banjo come in, eight random notes. I had a bass player. Actually, the bass player started at eight random notes. Uh, then we had mandolin, eight random notes. Uh, we had harps, eight random notes. And all these different instruments. Uh, I think we had both psaltery. Just, uh, we had guitar. And guitar was playing the backup. And a teacher walked by the class, stuck their head in and said, oh my, that is beautiful. What is that song they're playing? And I started laughing and I said, they're not really even playing a song. And she said, yes, they are. Listen to that. It's beautiful. I said, that's not a song. I said, There's, they're all noodling. I said, and if we stopped, they would come up with eight different notes and they would noodle and it would sound like a new song. And she said, I honestly thought they had been practicing that for several months. That is absolutely beautiful. So noodling, you want to do it with confidence. If you stick to your scale, that helps. Um, but That's noodling. I, I can't even tell you what I just did. It's eight random notes, or uh, it's not even eight random. It's just a series of random notes played on your instrument. Now, let me tell you how you can noodle a phrase. Here's our melody. So we've got... Da, 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 da. If you did this, excuse my voice. Now, I didn't have that pre planned, I just did that in my head just now. 
Um, so I think I did. Dun, 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 Come up with anything you want. Um, that all works in a tune, especially when there's other instruments playing. So a lot of people are nervous about noodling because they think they're going to play a wrong note. Guess what? You probably will. So what? The more you noodle, the easier it gets. Um, I was teaching a workshop on noodling and I had four ladies, uh, older ladies, and they were, they were terrified to jam. And I said, this is what you do. And I showed them how to noodle. And they purposely went to a jam right after that class to try it out. And, and remember, they were terrified. They would not jam before this. And uh, they came back right after the jam and they were, it was very cute. They were bouncing on their toes. They were so excited. And they said, that was so much fun. Everyone thought we were really good. You know, they made comments and they were good comments, you know, thinking they were playing, uh, you know, a counter melody. And I said, you didn't tell them you were just noodling, did you? And they went, no. And I said, well, don't tell them. Let them think you're good. Noodling is a lot of fun to do. So, you know, I'm just going to give you an example. She'll be coming around the mountain. You can go da 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 da. You could also do this da 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 da. Again, forgive my voice, but as many ways as you can come up with, and you want to try to just follow your voice with these. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, practice noodling. Get confident with it mess around with it, see what you can come up with to change the melody, you know, go up or down or whatever you want to do and see if you can throw that in. So you're going to try now to uh, take all these different techniques that we've taught you and you're going to try to start mixing them together and get comfortable. Eventually what's going to happen is you're not going to be thinking anymore. Now it'll take some time possibly, but you'll start doing double thumbing and then go into triple thumbing and then go into bum ditty. You won't think, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. You're teaching your hands to play. You're teaching your fingers to play. And that's the goal. That's what you want to do. So have fun with this. And when you're ready, next week, we're going to put up a practice track. It's going to play the tune over and over and over again. And it's going to allow you to play along. It'll be in double C tuning. And we'll talk about that next week. But you'll have that to work with. Again, thank you, patrons, for your giving, for your support, for your help in making these lessons possible. To anyone who might consider becoming a patron, uh, it would be so greatly appreciated, so much needed. And, you know, again, that's part of the inner circle of what we do. Uh, you get the sticker that says, I support traditional music. You also uh, get an invitation to a monthly one-hour live stream workshop. And then, of course, we also have, uh, you're supporting traditional music, you're supporting this program. So whether you give a penny or not, the, the lessons are free, but it's only free because there are those who give. So thank you, patrons. God bless. We'll see you all in your next workshop.